so i am planning to start with the canvas for the dry dirt daffodils so these are the dried flowers and that is the canvas that i plan to put them on i still haven't decided whether i want to cut the stems or uh, leave them like that and i think i'm going to just leave these here in case i have some epiphany at some point but basically what i'm doing right now is what i had in mind was that i have this i know the bottle is a little smashed uh, i'll show you one that's not this one so this is a Liquitex Gloss Super Heavy Gel. If this is a medium that you paint with. You can, it gives you like a transparent finish and you can make it really thick. The only problem is that it doesn't lay flat. So I have some, I don't have a lot. This is a full jar. This is 75% and this is about like 10% is left in this. So um, uh, these are all gloss ones. I do have <laughs> a really large mat wala but um, I don't want a matte effect I want a shiny effect so one of the ways uh, that this can be made glossy is that you use the matte gel but then you uh, can always apply gloss varnish on top so this should work should work again I'm not really sure uh, I have a lot of these some of these jars are super old so uh, so for example I have mixed some what I've done is I've mixed some gloss varnish into this to try and see if this works kind of does but it's going to take some mixing and I'm mixing it from the wood end of the brush not the brush end so let's see how this goes I've literally just put in some uh, gloss varnish which is really really thin into a really old jar of gloss heavy gel uh, some of it will definitely work but I don't think all of it will and the thing is normally a canvas uh, when you even if you buy it retail from like Amazon you will get it uh, it'll look like this so this is um this is gesso and then uh, I had also gessoed it and I had painted something on it but I hated it so I removed it and how you remove it is that you use isopropyl alcohol and you basically pour isopropyl alcohol and then this whole thing just peels off now because this has a cover of you know this cardboard thing so it didn't penetrate aage se to peeche se jitna side se nikla theek hai it's the back of the painting and it's for a personal project so i'm not really going to be finicky about ki oh yahan lagaya jaye so yahan nahi hai the reason gesso is used is so that the canvas is uh, it becomes it, it there's a seal to the canvas so moisture uh, will not get in and if you're using uh, paints delicate paints then those paints will be preserved so that's the reason why generally people use gesso and also if you don't like the weave of the canvas it's not a uh, very fine quality and if you want like a flat surface because right now this has grain uh, you can see that it's like a cloth so kai logon ko nahi pasand aata hai depend karta hai with the flowers i think this works really well i don't want it to be pure white so okay, anyway before this dries uh, i'll record the videos and i'll probably post them in three four parts this way i can put more varnish make it even thinner the thing is with the varnish you know it's varnish is self leveling what that means is that you pour it and generally you know if it's a flat surface then the varnish flattens the way it spreads is flat so you don't need to worry about ki are lump ho jayega etc mostly if it's a flat surface but with the gel you need to usually i've used the gel with a palette knife because uh, that's a good way to kind of spread it evenly and this wala also right now i'm trying to just uh, mix and see if this will even work i've never mixed varnish with uh, gel medium earlier they're all the same substance in the sense that uh, it's acrylics so it should work mm i think this will work because i want a thick layer but i'm going to start with a thin layer of varnish i'm going to just 
leave this for a bit i think this will work so i just have to mix it properly and take out really fat lumps like i think ye, this lump for example is totally dried this is not going to mix the rest has mixed i'm just going to throw this i guess move it here yeah just wipe it on a tissue wipe the rest of the brush on the tissue also and i can go and show this effect that's not so bad let me just pause it for a sec oh no right i'm back so i threw that i am going to put a lid on this so the lids are not they don't really seal that's why these things you shouldn't keep for too long they dry really quickly what i'm going to do now is i have this brush it's really horrible quality by the way looks like duplicate favor castle i'm pretty sure castel whatever it's supposed to be pony hair this is not pony hair anyway um what i'm going to do is i have this varnish right so instead of gesso i'm just going to put like a thin varnish layer so there we go so that the brush can go in and i'm going to do this in the front just yeah i don't really see I think I should sit down and do it now. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that looks better. I still can't really see it. It's better to have some sort of form of reflection so that it tells you where the varnish has been applied. And you shouldn't do too much of this back and forth because that creates bubbles in the varnish. And because it's kapda na, it will absorb the varnish pretty quickly, which is fine. I mean, it's not a problem or anything. Just FYI, in case you have other things planned and you're not sure how the surface reacts, etc. So I generally hold it up like this, and because I'm sitting in front of curtained windows, so there's some light coming in. It gives me idea of. Kidder lagai varnish kidder nahi. It doesn't dry immediately, which is good, I think. Because it allows it to level, kind of. So I'm just gonna seal it first. So it's. <coughs> Excuse me. This is basically me sealing the. My allergies have suddenly kicked in over the last two days. Okay. So yeah. Now everyone. Art, everyone is like, Are you to maybe kar sakti hon? Yeah, you can. Anyone can do this. You just need the supplies. Because of the lockdown, obviously, right now, ordering supplies is a problem. So, even I'm trying to uh, make do with whatever I have. So, I just had, I have these because I mean, I use these a lot, anyways, on my brooches and, you know, my other artwork. I have the gel from the time when I was experimenting. Like, I spent about the last two, three years just experimenting and trying to find my, uh, what I like doing. So, I had ordered gel uh, when I was experimenting those days. But I mean, this is a good excuse for me to uh, use them. You know, with the flowers, the problem is, problem in the sense that it's, uh, it's not a problem, it's like a characteristic. They're dry. So I can't really bend them too jangly though. The, they'll snap because they're like super crispy. <laughs> so, uh, which is why uh, the, the size of the canvas is such that I'll probably have to cut off the stems uh, at some point. Uh, they're very long, they won't, they're not gonna fit. So uh, for that, uh, that'll work better. If the flowers were a little bendy, then I could have just torn these stems and stuck them in the gel. You'll see what I mean by stuck them in the gel. And yeah, I mean, if you have, I'm doing it with these flowers because they're special to me. A, Karina and Magan came for my art exhibit. That was like a, it's nice, you know, when friends actually take the time to come in. Oh, there's a hair, I see the hair, peeks. Yeah, when friends actually take the time to come to your first art exhibit that was pretty cool i mean i don't hold it against people who couldn't make it but the the, the ones who did i mean it was awesome and then uh, there were these 
beautiful flowers they got me. It was the first time someone had given me daffodils. So it was like extra special. So these flowers mean a lot to me. But you can do this with any uh, thing that you want to preserve. This is how people kind of make those collages, which, uh, you know, you cut out of old magazines or old postcards. You remember they, they have to have had their copyright lapsed <laughs> because otherwise you can't you can make it personally, personal project ke use kar sakte ho, but uh, if you're planning to sell that artwork, then you should use uh, art or photos or whatever in, in which the copyright has lapsed. And it should be valid in your country, not just the artist country also. So both countries. I'm not really sure kya hai, but I think it's supposed to be 70 years till uh, copyright lapses. Now, because I am working i i'm going to do the back of it also but not right now because the front is still wet and even the edges i'm not doing right now because i'm going to be leaving it on the table like this if i i could leave it a little propped also any keeper prop kar sakta hai i have used them earlier for propping stuff like this so i could just prop it like this and a third one there you go hey it's propped now i can do the edges also because it will drip and then the table will drip over. but that's okay I mean I, I uh, sang this table pretty uh, <laughs> pretty often anyway because I'm forever dripping stuff on it and I'm in varnish and I'm painting something and I like the whole wood thing so I have varnished it also the edges are a little more difficult to do because they they have um, the uh, frame at the back of the canvas so the cloth doesn't behave in a very absorbent manner like surface pe it literally drank up the varnish but edge pe it's not going to do that so this is basically step one i was feeling so like i didn't want to go and look into my uh, supplies because I was worried that I would gel medium and if I didn't get it, then I would have gotten frustrated and irritated and then uh, yeah because in lockdown you can't order anything anyway this is not an essential item I mean to me it is because I'm like I have something to do now but uh, none of the government decreed this as essential items was it this? Nope. so luckily I found some and I think um, because this stuff takes a while to dry anyway, so it's not like it will be in one day. Today I'm probably just going to do the, see, front of the varnish. I mean, front of the canvas. After that, I have to do the back of the canvas and maybe at least another layer. So what will happen is it will kind of have a flat surface, but um, um, you won't really be able to tell. See what I mean? Like it will look like a kapda, the kapda effect will be there. But uh, it will become flat because it's absorbing all this varnish and just like gesso, but it will be a transparent flat feeling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to listen to this, although I never listen to my uh, videos later. I don't watch them. But if I did, I'd be laughing my head off because half the time I don't even know what I'm saying. It's hilarious. And that is the edge that is done. I can see some light reflection, which is why I know that it's the edge. Okay, so that's it for now. And I, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, whenever this dries, I will then record again. And then I will splice everything and put it together and maybe do it in parts like part one, two, three, four or something. And final product. This is the first time I'll be uh, making something from start to finish and posting it on YouTube. Cool. See you later.